Hello, welcome to Reykjavik uh, Grapevine's newscast. My name is Olu Grafisson, of course. Uh, I'm an editor in chief at Reykjavik Grapevine. And this is Polly. Well, you know her. Yeah. And we're here at Astanes. It's a windy day. Uh, it, this is a beach uh, in the same town that our president uh, lives in. Uh, we'll get back to that later. Uh, but it's probably fitting that it's a windy day. It's been a windy night also. Uh, when it comes to politics. Uh, also, uh, please remember our High Five Club, our High Five, uh, in our, in our online show, uh, and uh, subscribe, like, and all of that. But uh, yeah, Art tells me it's gonna be a little challenge to do this in the wind, so the stabilizer might, might get messy and uh, I might uh, lose my breath, but uh, here's news cut for you. A mess. So, uh, first uh, bad news. We had our 17th death yesterday from COVID, uh, COVID-19, and uh, it's uh, it's bad. Of course, we knew this, so it's not a surprise. It's demographically just how it goes uh, when it goes like this. Uh, uh, also, like uh, I did a little bit, little math. Uh, I was just doing like uh, how many have died uh, in like past weeks and in Iceland we have had 17 deaths and the interesting thing is that if you compare it to, to the US uh, you have 2.5 percent death rate when it comes to uh, these nine millions that have had the COVID uh, but in Iceland it's 0.3 percent so if Icelanders uh, would have uh, if, if the US would be Iceland or vice versa you would have 33,000 deaths, <laughs> not 230,000. So we like, uh, we're like doing quite fine, but every life in Iceland is uh, so precious. I mean, we are so few, and it's, it's always a shock to lose someone like this. Also, like uh, there are more people that have died uh, this year uh, by COVID than in car accidents and so on. It's like, uh, there is nothing, this is like um, up there with the top reason that people die in Iceland right now. Uh, also, uh, this wave is going down now. It's official. Uh, our top epidemiologist said that we are slowly, really slowly going down, uh, but we are going down. The, the best indicator to see this is that uh, when we were at worst, we had 300 uh, COVID cases per 100,000 people. And uh, now we're down to, we're down to 183 per 100,000. So we're in a way, way, way better situation than we were just weeks ago. But then again, we're in a really harsh lockdown right now. We can't go outside, of course, but there's a tent gathering ban. Everybody has to work home, they can work home. Uh, and uh, more or less everything is closed, except the restaurants, like I said, <laughs> told you the last time, which is, of course, absurd. Uh, also, yesterday we had 29 cases of them, they were uh, like well over 70% were in quarantine. This really matters. It means that as long as they're in quarantine, they're not out there uh, spreading the COVID. So this is good news. Uh, uh, and two other things. An interesting, uh, well, another things or not. An interesting thing is that uh, there was a priest uh, in interview in Icelandic TV channel called Hringbraut. Uh, and he uh, called, uh, what is called? Sierra Sigurður Árni Þórðarsson. Or Sierra is like a priest, or reverend, uh, reverend Sigurður Árni Thordarson. And the thing is that he says now, and he predicts that uh, the way of how Icelanders do funerals will possibly change in the future because of COVID. And the thing is that, uh, I'm not sure if many know about this, uh, Icelandic funerals are very different from at least the Scandinavians. And of course, it's, it's, it's more or less the same. It's like we, we sing our hymns and we cry in, in the funerals and, and so on. But there are so many people. Everybody go to a funeral in Iceland, everybody in the town and so on. 
it's like uh, even like uh, it's like my when my father was buried, we we decided to do it like low key, but still there were like 500 people in the in the in the ceremony. So it's like it's up to like thousands sometimes, and it it can be very very many people. But the thing is that it's incredibly expensive, um, and it's notoriously expensive to bury people in Iceland. Uh, the unions often help with this, but also you have to feed thousand people, you know. So uh, this is something we are now feeling that uh, the smaller these uh, ceremonies are, uh, the cheaper they also are, which is good, of course, for us uh, that lose someone to not be uh, worried about that. But also these ceremonies are just, they are very different from the like Danish, Swedish and uh, like Finnish ceremonies, which are like, they are way, much fewer people in these ceremonies. I'm not sure if the, this priest is correct. I mean, Icelanders also just like to go to, to these funerals. And uh, not because they like death or anything, but it's uh, often a good chance to meet old friends, old, uh, old uh, like nieces and, and so on. Wow, I'm really, I'm really sucking at this now. So it's a, it's a very, like, a, it's very much of a social thing to go into these uh, funerals. And it's not all bad, especially like when, when older people die. It's more like it's a friendly gathering, you know. It doesn't have to be like very uh, sad, although death is always very sad. Uh, and yeah, the reason we're here, this beach here, uh, not sure exactly how, what it is called. It's just the beach at Altanes. Altenes is the name of the town here. Uh, and the thing is that uh, in Iceland we have uh, like an odd <laughs> tourism still going on, although there is COVID. Uh, around 30 volunteers are now in Iceland, in the west of Iceland, uh, helping these uh, organizations uh, called Veraldarvinir. Uh, it's worldwide friends in English uh, to clean up the beaches uh, in the west. And the town of Isafjörður in, in Westfjörður, the, the Westfjords, uh, it's like the, the, the beach there is like over 600 kilometers and it's just filled with like uh, stuff from the, the fishing ships like these uh, plastic, uh, what do you call it, put the fish in, like I'm not sure like the English words about this uh, and, uh, and so and the gnats even come up and, and, and so on and so on. So uh, these people go to the, to the beaches uh, and they help them clean it up. Uh, in past 20 years, according to Fréttablaðið, there have been 20,000 20, volunteers helping by going to like these places in Iceland, most often like in the Westfjords and, and of course other places, and just clean up the beaches. And it's brilliant. Uh, so this is a, like a, a booming industry right now also, uh, especially if you're like young and you live in, uh, in the EU, uh, then uh, you can even get like a, uh, like, what do you call it, like stipulant from the EU to, to travel to Iceland, for example, and do this. So it's, 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 quite, it's, it's quite fun and it's quite interesting. Uh, the elections, should we go there? Are you ready for this? Uh, I, was, I was awake until like five o'clock this morning uh, in Icelandic time, uh, just trying to realize like uh, how these elections would go. I thought actually we would see quite, quite uh, quickly uh, like the tone of the election. And I realized very quickly on that uh, this was going to be 50-50 situation. And that, have, that, that appears to be true. Uh, it doesn't look good uh, for either one, actually. Trump is not in a strong position and Biden is going basically the most narrow path to the White House, which is like, I have to say, like, <laughs> like almost humiliating for the Democratic Party in my opinion, of course. Uh, but uh, Roof, our national broadcast, they held an, like a special extra uh, news uh, today at noon. And they don't do this unless there is a volcano, earthquake or a flood somewhere, uh, but, uh, or something huge. So it's quite interesting to see it. Uh, what we get out of this news, in Iceland at least, is that Icelanders are more or less, I mean, it's not a, it's not a, secret that Icelanders do not like Trump. But uh, the, the Icelanders are more pissed about the pollsters. And they say the only, the only thing we know for sure that who lost last night was uh, like pollsters like 538 and these guys. 
if they was they are so way off that it's like it, it, it's becoming incredibly frustrating especially for us the nerds that uh, really like uh, politics like the like the statistics of things so this this has been like uh, just insane uh, Kristin Hrappsson, the editor-in-chief at Wikileaks, he is also, he's not a fan of this, he criticized 538, uh, but he also said like, hey, uh, USA has lost its status in the world, uh, and it's just uh, silly to pay this much uh, energy and attention to it. So, I mean, uh, I, I, I'm not on the same page here, I think uh, this Trump effect has... Uh, has uh, polluted a lot of politics in, 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 in Europe. We're seeing serious red flags uh, in, in, in countries like Poland, Hungary, uh, and even like uh, smaller seats like in Iceland. Uh, like, I mean, we have now some Nazi propaganda and so on, and people are not like, oh, I don't know, like there's a freedom of speech. So it's like, I understand, but I mean, it uh, doesn't sound like something that the world needs right now, to be honest. Uh, more about elections. My phone is almost <laughs> out of a battery. Let's hope this will have... Yeah, former financial minister of Iceland, Gilvi Magnusson, uh, only sat on his Facebook this morning, oof, or like, oops, <laughs> like, uh, not more, four more years. Uh, so, uh, and our prime minister, uh, Katrin Jakobsdottir, she has uh, declined to do any interviews about the elections until at least Friday when we know more how this is going. So politicians even are like, they are holding their hands back and just seeing how it will go. Uh, I'm not going to do a prediction, but uh, if to be, if, if you like, it doesn't look good for Biden, to be honest, uh, but uh, let's see how that goes. Uh, but that's it for the newscast. Uh, it's a really windy day, but tomorrow is a yellow warning, so I guess this is nice. It's also, in Icelandic time, this is noon right now. It's, uh, it's almost, uh, well, okay, it's, it's, it's two o'clock, but uh, noon in Iceland now is like one, like 22 minutes over one. Uh, and the sun is like always going lower and lower. Uh, for example, the sun will, will sit at, uh, at uh, 5 o'clock today and it will be dark at 6. Uh, but please remember uh, our, uh, uh, our clubs. Uh, please subscribe. We need more sub subscribers. We need all the help that we can get. And uh, please remember our shop. Uh, that really, really helps. And yeah. Thank you. Goodbye and uh, good luck.